What up YouTube, it's me again. Like 30 seconds after making this video, I just decided to do this one too. Um, or like 30 seconds be, uh, after making the other one, sorry. It's, again, it's like almost three in the morning, so I'm a little sleepy. Um, anyways, this video right here is going to be called, um, you know, when people are at funerals, yeah, right? The priests and stuff are at the funerals, they're, they've got the casket in the ground. Um, the family is there mourning for, um, they're lost, and, um, and the priest says, don't worry, they've gone to a better place, and they read scriptures from the Bible, says they, in, they are going into eternal life, and, you know, but is that really the case? Is that really the case? I mean, every single person who goes, who dies and goes to a funeral, who's buried, who gets buried, every single person, there's always a priest there who, um, who reads the, uh, the scripture out of the Bible and says that they went to a better place. That cannot be, that's not right. I mean, it's not, not every single person that's died has gone to heaven. Otherwise, there's not going to, there's nobody in hell right now. So... I encourage you guys to um, tell them about the uh, the chapter uh, Romans chapter ten verse nine Romans ten nine. Um, it's the only way to get saved. If you watch my previous video before this one, it's called uh, "Does Everybody Go to Heaven?" and I encourage you guys to watch that and to watch this because I I'm not going to make this video right here like 15 minutes long too so. I'm just going to say Romans 10.9 is the only way to get saved, not by our own works. You can watch that in my, uh, the, does everybody go to heaven? But, um, Romans 10.9, if we confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord and that God, believe in our hearts that God rose him from the dead three days later, we shall be saved. It's the same as the sinner's prayer, which is accepting your, uh, Lord Jesus Christ as our personal savior for the forgiveness of our sins. So that being said, um, no, I, I, no, uh, not everybody who dies and goes to funeral is going to heaven. No, but, um, I encourage you guys to tell your loved ones about Romans 10, 9, and how, that's, because that's the way to salvation. Um, tell them that no good works can save them. No good works will bring them to, uh, heaven. Um, only, only the work of Jesus Christ on the cross can save a person's soul from hell. So, I strongly encourage you guys to tell them if you if you're unsaved yourselves, do this. You're not promised ten seconds from now. You're not even promised two seconds from now. I'm not promised one second after saying this line right now. So, but I know I'm saved. So I'm going to heaven. But um, I really strongly encourage you guys because it could be too late tomorrow. Ten minutes, five minutes, one second. It could be too late for you. So I encourage you to, um, every breath that you take is from God. He gives us breath. He gives you guys breath. Whoever, I know there's unsaved people who are who think they're saved that are watching this right now. So God brought you here right now if you're watching this and think you can go to heaven just by being a good person and not accepting Jesus as Lord and Savior. He brought you here right now to get saved. So... Um, where was I? Completely lost the train of thought. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so I strongly encourage you guys to tell your loved ones about this. And because it could be too late tomorrow. It could be too late for them. And you, you, if they die unsaved, that's it. They're, they're gone forever, for eternity. They're not, they won't cease to exist. They'll burn in hell forever because they have to pay the penalty for their sins instead of um, accepting Jesus' sacrifice for our sins. They have to take upon the wrath uh, of God for themselves instead of take, uh, accepting Jesus' sacrifice to which he took upon God's wrath on himself to save us from hell. So, that being said... I really encourage you guys to get saved with this video. Um, Romans 10, 9. That's the way to get saved. And...
please make the right decision. I can't force you. God can't force you. Oh, that's what I was talking about. Um, for the unsaved, God gives us breath. God gives you guys breath because he knows you're unsaved unsaved he gives the reason the only reason why he gives you guys breath is because he wants he's giving you another every single breath you take is another chance to accepting him as lord and savior because your time in god's time in god's time a hundred years in a lifetime is only like five seconds that's it that's that's why it's vital God's time, because to us it feels like a massive amount of time, like a hundred years, right? But, um, so you could, you could, you, we're not even going to live, not everybody even lives to a hundred. That's a myth that everybody only dies at an old age. You could die at any second for no reason whatsoever. Everybody here is, not, is on the time limit. That's why God is wanting us to accept him and his sacrifice um every day every second of our lives he gives he, he every second we're here is a chance to do that is a chance to get saved he can't force you i can't force you i understand that you believe in what you believe but um the bible even says you can't force belief on people it's a sin so um just all you have to do is plant the seed and jesus will do the rest so i strongly encourage you guys to do this it's it could be too late five minutes from now so well i'm going to sleep so see ya